Hi guys, today we have a debugging challenge. The name is smart number and we need to write or debug a function that tells us whether a number is a smart number or not. Here in the instructions, they say a number is called a smart number if it has an odd number of factors. Given some numbers, find whether they are smart numbers or not. So I'm going to give you an example here. Let's say we have the number 64. It has seven factors. So seven is an odd number, obviously. And the factors are what I've listed here. One, two, four, eight, 16, 32, and 64. So our function needs to tell us if we pass 64, that that number is indeed a smart number because it has an odd number of factors. So I'm going to switch my view here. And this is the function that they have by default. They've provided us as part of the coding challenge. The function looks very small and that's fine. We only need to change line 10 to make it work. So I'm going to do that in a moment and then uh, pass the test and explain to you why it works. So for now, what they have here is a val variable. It's an int and it's equal to the square roots of the number that we pass it. It has to be an integer, of course, so they perform some casting here and then they divide that number that we've passed here by the value that we've gotten, which is the square root. And then if it's equal to one, then they return true. Otherwise they return false. So right now I'm going to run the code that they've given us without touching anything. And we fail the test cases because we are not outputting exactly what they want. Now you can always scroll down and look at what they want us to do here, but I'm just going to go ahead and make the changes. We only need to change the conditional statements in line 10. So we need to write, if val times val equals the original number. All right, now I'm going to run this code. We've passed the test case, so I'm going to submit it now and then explain to you why it works. All right, so this was the correct solution. Now, if I go back here to my notepad, I said the number 64 had seven factors. I want you guys to pay attention to what I have here. So here I'm making the calculations that can give us the uh, results 64. You can see one by 64, two by 32, and so on. So these are using the factors of the number 64. You can see that we have eight numbers here because I have two numbers, two operands by line. But if you check the last line here, it's a duplicate. The number eight is a duplicate. So in fact, we have only seven unique factors. So I need to emphasize this here. This coding challenge is telling us that if a number has an odd number of unique factors, then it is a smart number. So the reason why my condition here works is because if we can find a perfect square to get the original number, if it has a perfect square, then that means it also has a duplicate in its list of factors. Because you require two operands here, obviously you're always going to have an even number of factors. But the last one here is always going to be a duplicate if there is a perfect square. So any even number minus one is going to give you an odd number. So that's the logic I'm using here to say if a number has a perfect square, then definitely it is a smart number. So this will return me true. What you need to keep in mind when solving these sort of coding challenges is that the instructions are very important. So you need to deconstruct whatever they are giving you as instructions and try to understand the underlying problem so that you can better visualize it like this. And then once you have it, then you understand that really what you need is perfect square equals duplicates, which also means is basically an even number of factors minus one to account for the duplicates. So that's when you know that there is an odd number of factors. Anyway, that's it for this coding challenge. We've passed all the test cases. If you liked it, please make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications and drop your comments in the comment section. I will catch you guys next time. Bye.